Hello everyone, my name is Archibald and today I'm showing you guys how to install Ultimate Backup to your GTA 5 LSPDFR. So the first thing you guys want to do is hit the first download link down in the description below. That's going to bring you guys right here to the Bajojo Ultimate Backup mod. So what I recommend you guys doing on this website is because of the amount of ads that this guy runs on his page, I have no clue why. What I would recommend doing is before coming on here, make sure you just slap yourself a VPN on and also make sure that you have an ad blocker, ad blocker on as when you click download here, it might take you to a dodgy website that might try, you know, it, if it, was, it might send you to some dodgy, you know, porn website or something like that. So if it does, what I recommend doing is putting your ad blocker on and you should not get any of it just like I have got on right now. But what you guys are going to want to do is by here, just click download. And then what it will try to do if you don't have an ad blocker on is redirect you to a page where he gets paid every single time that does it. I don't blame him. Obviously, he spends a lot of time trying to do that. But it's a little bit dodgy, the amount, the amount of ads he puts on it. So I'd recommend, would, I, I would recommend using an ad blocker with this. Once you've done that, open up the download with the ultimate backup in it. And then what you guys are going to want to do is if you look over here, you should be able to see you have an ultimate backup folder and inside of there a Rage Native UI and a plugins folder. So basic essentials for this is going to be your Rage plugin. If you don't have Rage plugin installed, make sure you guys installed it as it is a basic essential to pretty much every single plugin. So what you guys then want to do, you can close out your browser now, you, don't, you do not need that anymore, and navigate to your file explorer. Those of you guys using Steam, I'm going to show you guys how to get to your GTA 5 main directory right now. But those of you guys using Epic Games and Rockstar Games, I'm going to show you guys how to get your main directory down in the description below. Since I do not have any of those game versions, only the Steam version, I cannot list you off the top of my head. But how to get to your GTA 5 main directory is down in the description below for all of those users that are not on Steam. But for those who are... What you guys are going to want to do is navigate to the disk you install your GTA 5 on, go to Program Files 86, and then go down to Steam, and then go down to Steam Apps, and Common. Choose your GTA 5 folder that you want to mod. For me, it's going to be this one right here. And then what you guys are going to want to do is simply just grab this download, make sure you have just enough room here so you can highlight around without having to select any folders or files, and then simply just drag and drop these two files and folders into your GTA 5 main directory. And then for me, it's going to ask to replace it. For you, it may only ask to replace one, which is going to be your Rage Native UI. If it doesn't ask to replace anything, there's absolutely no worries because that's just because you're installing the mod from fresh. But because I already have this installed and I'm just reinstalling it for the sake of the video, it will ask me to replace all the files that it comes with. So if you drag and drop that into your game, it'll then go in. And then what you guys can do if you go into your plugins folder and then LSPDFR, you can actually change the keys and other and customize other options that Ultimate Backup comes with. So if you guys look for the Ultimate Backup configuration settings folder, that'll be inside of your Grand Theft Auto plugins and LSPDFR folder. If you right click on that and then you edit it, if you don't have Notepad++, it doesn't really make a difference. It's just a nice creature comfort that I like to have when it comes to editing configs. You can also change here the toggle menu key. So you want to toggle the Ultimate Backup menu key, you can change that from B, you can change that to anything else. You can also add a modifier, which is like Shift B. So a modifier is another key you press just in case you've run out of key room. Then you can also add a panic button, which is numpad zero. If you guys don't know what a panic button is, it's basically if you get shot, or you're getting shot at, or you're getting shot at, you know, shots fired and things like that, you can get immediately a bunch of units to your location very, very quickly. So you do not die, just in case you did have realistic weapon systems on there where you can die from two shots or one shot if you don't have any body armor on. So it just adds that little bit of realism to it. You can also hold the key to dismiss all backup units. You can change that. All you guys got to do to change it is, for instance, your toggle menu key is literally all you got to guys do is literally just delete it and change it to the key that you want to change it to. It is that simple and it doesn't really mean anything different it's not very complicated at all the only different thing that i would say is when it comes to changing your controller key binds which is right here which is like our control key that's a little bit different to what is actually being pressed and then down here you can also change your buttons and your parameters when it comes to your code two sirens and everything like that and you also change if when a player is injured the ambulance and firemen will give a med kit to restore your health. You can change that on and off just in case you wanted to add a little bit of realism so you have to go to the hospital or things like that to revive yourself. So it just adds that little bit of realism and it lets you customize it to what you like. But enough of that, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hop in game and show you guys how to use the menu. Okay, so once you guys are in game, for some reason this took me so, so long because I got distracted in many other ways. But once you guys are in game, what you guys are going to want to do is make sure that you are on duty, which I'm not. So to do that, you can either walk inside the station and do it, or you can just force duty 
the uh, full menu. Either way, either one works. And then once you're on duty, all you guys are going to want to do is hit B on your keyboard, just like we saw in the config file. And then once we've done that, you guys should be able to see that we have a ultimate backup menu. And inside of that, you'll have a choice between code 3, partner, K9 partner, and code 2. And then you also have a choice between the type of patrol unit you use. And this all depends as well with your partner and your canine partner. Canine partner is really, really cool. You can spawn a canine partner in. You can change around its type of dog. You can also change the face texture, the shirt texture, which you can also get mods for as well, which is really cool. And then you can also call in EMS and fire departments and everything else along those lines. Along with first responder medic, first responder fire, air ambulance and air swap back. If you don't know what air ambulance is, it basically just uses the frogger with an ambulance skin on it. Along with first responder and medic. So if you guys did find this useful, please let me know down in the comment section below. Please like the video as well. It really, really helps me out. And please subscribe because we're just recovering from a bug that YouTube had where it's unsubscribing all of my new subscribers. If you could subscribe for me, it really, really helped me out. It really helps me grow. And in the long run, it earns me a little bit more money. So other than that, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'll see all of you guys in the next tutorial. Cheers and goodbye.